This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Droid by Motorola that's available on Verizon, or will be available on November 6th. This is running Android Google OS 2.0. It's the first 2.0 OS phone. As you can see, the front face is dominated by the large 3.7-inch display, and this has a resolution of 480 by 854 pixels. It's highest of any Android phone so far. As of Android OS 1.6, many resolutions are supported. But this is the first phone we've seen that pushes it that high. It has an accelerometer, but it also will switch to landscape mode when you slide it open to access the QWERTY keyboard. The QWERTY keyboard is a little narrower than you might expect for a large phone because they're making room for the D-pad over here and for, we won't call it a chin like what HTC has, but this little grab hold area over here. The, the size of the keyboard still isn't that bad, but the fact that it's very flat with very low travel it makes it not a very good typing experience. It's certainly better than nothing though. And again, that's what allows the phone to be incredibly thin. As you see, compared to something like the Samsung Moment, it is thinner. This is an upcoming Android phone on Sprint, the Moment right here. I'll just compare them. They're both big phones, but this one certainly looks sleeker because it's so thin. It's very angular industrial design kind of modern minimalist. The gold key here is the camera shutter button key. This is your volume controls. Here is the three and a half millimeter stereo jack. That's the power button right here. USB connector. And on the back you've got the five megapixel autofocus camera that takes pretty good pictures with an LED flash. And this is the battery door over here will slide off, comes off very easily. You have to be careful. In fact, if you grab it hard, you might pull it off. Battery here. 16 gig micro SD card installed in there right now. And this is the speaker grill. For the speakerphone, which is incredibly loud. This door is metal with a rubberized coating. It feels nice. High quality kind of product overall. So since this is running the new Android OS, you've got the Google search toolbar right here with voice search. We're going to take a look at maps. 2.0, which finally has turn-by-turn -turn spoken directions like commercial packages do. Since VZ Navigator is not preloaded, in fact Verizon's services are notably absent on the phone, this is very handy that you can actually get directions. These are touch buttons over here with haptic feedback. They're not mechanical buttons, they don't move. So you can hit directions and Let's just search for pizza in Dallas. Let's pick pizza place. And if you hit navigate, it warns you this is beta. It's not your. It's not their fault if it tells you to drive into a river and all that kind of stuff, but. Head west on Water Oak Drive toward Oak Ridge Drive, then turn left at Oak Ridge Drive. But it works pretty well and it's, it's very loud. We'll give you a detailed write-up of navigation services in Google Maps 2.0 in our written review. As you can see here, you can scroll the map easily. You can also zoom in and out if you want. So as the Android Marketplace, there's an extra tab in the Marketplace for Verizon Vcast services. Right now, Visual Voicemail is the only thing that you're going to see. Take a look at the web browser. Which again, works with the accelerometer. You don't have to open up the keyboard, the switch. And you can get location based services in your Google search with Android. And we'll take a look at, see how our homepage works. The web browser loads pages very quickly. We don't have very good Verizon EVDO service here, and despite having a fairly weak signal, it's loading the page very quickly. Like the Touch Pro 2, it's very high resolution, and it's a large display, so even in the zoomed out view, you can, if you have good eyes, actually read the initial view of the page. So you can see you can scroll quickly and easily. You can zoom using the on-screen controls here that does not have pinch zoom. They haven't customized Android the way HTC did to allow for pinch zooming like the iPhone. But it's 
You can also tap to zoom in quickly. But it does a great job of rendering pages. It's it's comparable to Safari in terms of rendering quality and pretty close on speed to Safari on the iPhone. You're done with that. You just hit the home button. Android does not have an exit button, so apps run until the OS decides to kill them, basically, if it runs out of memory. Though this has ample memory and a good amount of storage. Take a look at applications here. We have our Google Mail. We have our Exchange email supported here. There's also Facebook integration. There's a new setting that allows you to populate your contacts and calendar with information from all of those services. We've also got a voice dialer here. Google's YouTube player. And we will take a look at... How about the Android 2.0 official video? phone does have Wi-Fi. If you're not in good e-video coverage area, of course it has Bluetooth. Android 2.0 provides new APIs and technologies for developers. This platform release includes new capabilities in account management, contacts, and sync. There is now an account manager API. As you can that see, this demo is actually using the Droid to show the features. On the, device. the contacts application support doesn't fill in the screen because this is so high resolution, it would be stretching the relatively low resolution YouTube mobile videos to a point where they would look terrible. Take a quick look at the phone interface. You've got your on-screen dialer over here. Call log. Contacts integration. You can scroll through and pick anybody that you want. And a list of favorites as well. Those favorites sync over from your Google contacts. You can have widgets, just like with any Android phone. So we've got a weather bug widget here. We've got a Facebook widget installed. And you've got three screens. So there's room here to add some more stuff. You can put applications, folders, and more widgets on the phone. Now we'll take a look at camera interface. And there's a slider right here, which is very smart, so you can switch between photo and video. You don't have to go into settings menus or anything like that. And for settings, you have flash mode, scene mode, white balance. You can choose color effects. Hit back when you're done. Picture quality. Focus mode, you can set it to be autofocus or infinity or macro mode as well, which is kind of neat. So once you've taken a picture, you just took a picture of the cat, you can go to gallery and view it, and you can Tap the arrows. There's no swiping motion. Let's take a look at this compared to a couple of other competing phones. Again, here's the Samsung Moment. Obviously, the screen is more striking on this because it's AMOLED. It's very bright, bright and vibrant, but it is lower resolution. Keyboard here is larger and has more travel since the device isn't as thin, so you get better tactile feedback. So for a serious typist, there is an appeal for the moment. Next we'll take a look at this compared to the Imagio, also available on Verizon. This is a Windows Mobile HTC phone, so you're going to use an on-screen keyboard with this. This guy has mobile TV. It's pretty much the same resolution. It's 800 by 480 resolution. This is 854 by 480 over here. And they're about the same thickness. The Imagio is a little bit thinner. Of course, the Imagio has no keyboard, so can be thinner. And we'll take a look at Motorola's other Android product, which is the Moto Click. It's going to be on T-Mobile. Again, this has a more vibrant display, but it's a more plasticky kind of youth-oriented design. This is the Moto Blur social networking oriented interface on top of Android. And a bigger keyboard again a little bit bigger and higher travel. A 
in terms of fit and finish, we'll see this this is very kind of chic, modern, expensive looking, and this is kind of rugged plastic fun looking. So that's the Droid by Motorola on Verizon. Visit Mobile Tech Review to read our full review.